talk about a couple of things. I don't hop on live very often, so when I do, it may be important. 2023, we got uh, Mr. Belmar in the house. Uh, for those that don't know, you know, back in the day, we used to do uh, we used to do live streams, four or five hour live streams, where we would just absolutely shred uh, and talk about a ton of different topics uh, relating to specifically where the world was headed. In 2020, uh, we talked about a bull run in the markets uh, and it happened. 2021, uh, we talked about a recession in the markets and it took place, right? Pre-COVID as well. Pre-COVID as well. And, oh yeah, we did call COVID as well. That was a- uh, And buying everything at the grocery stores and everything's gonna be out. Yeah, that shit was paper. crazy. Yeah. The whole point, but we can't, I, I guess we can't use that word on, on Instagram. Paper? No, 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 uh, COVID. Oh. Is that is that word still censored? COVID, COVID. Hey guys, here we got uh, one of Mr. Belmar's shred potions. Look at this shit. You can actually show it since it's glass. Sick, huh? This is uh, one of Mr. Belmar's shred potions. You know, here, you can't see. How's everyone doing? But anyways, so I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit. We're gonna kind of break down a few things. First of all, I wanna talk about goals. Uh, you know, 2023 is well underway. We're uh, five weeks into the year. You know, a lot of you guys have expectations, things that you wanna accomplish, things that you wanna do, but you haven't even started on your goals yet. And that's the truth, right? So you're in a situation whereby you haven't started on your goals. You said you were gonna do a ton of shit and you're not doing it. And now you find yourself kind of in the same bullshit loop that you were in in 2022. So how do you break it? You know, it's extremely important to understand how to break uh, destructive behaviors and how to, you know, curve bad uh, patterns in your habits. But what I found extremely important, specifically in my, my desire to level up, was it wasn't just cutting out bullshit, you know, cutting out the bad things in life that needed to be cut out, but it was more so replacing the things in my life um, that weren't optimal. I heard this quote once uh, that was really interesting. It said, the problem isn't being addicted. The problem is uh, being addicted to the wrong stuff, mm -hmm. right? So if you're addicted to the wrong stuff, um, you're gonna compound based off of that, right? Since we understand the principle that consistency compounds, it's gonna compound both on the negative and the positive, right? Mm -hmm. So you gotta kind of be in a situation where you understand that and you decide. Uh, that's kind of like my first point. So, you know, a lot of you guys have made goals in 2023 and you haven't even started on them. So how do you goal set properly? I mean, I, mean, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to goal set properly. And then how do you uh, make sure that you accomplish your goals, right? Something I often talk about, and it's a two word term, it's called uh, crystallized clarity, right? What is crystallized clarity? It's when you set a goal and you break it down into crystallized objectives, right? How crystallized? So when you're crystallizing objectives, it needs to be broken down in, in uh, goals that are vis visually uh, recognizable, right? So what does that mean? It's goals that you can see yourself accomplishing, which is extremely important because a lot of people set up goals that are that they themselves don't believe that they can accomplish. And that's the first problem in goal setting is you need to set up goals that are realistic and start compounding on the small wins. People want like these big, like one hit wonders, like uh, what are the 10 quickest ways to do this? What are the 10 best books to get rich? What is the What are the three quickest tips to get abs? Everything is instant gratification nobody's focused on the small consistent wins, which is where the, where the sustainability is found. Most entrepreneurs get burnt out and they get burnt out in a situation whereby they go super hard for a couple weeks or a couple months and then they're drained. And it happened to me, right? You go into these like work sprouts or these, the, these sprints, these work sprints, yeah. and even growth sprouts could basically be that, uh, translate into that as well. And then you're in a situation where you become exhausted. But if you want to outlast and outweather your competition, 
uh, out weather and out last bad times, you need to focus on the consistent small wins every single day. Mm -hmm. So you need to take your macro goal, break it down into crystallized clarity through small goals, and then uh, you become addicted to making sure that you accomplish those small wins. And that is where the sauce is found. The sauce is found in making sure that every time you lay that individual brick, that it's laid down with perfection. You're not overwhelmed by looking at the blueprint and seeing that it's a massive mansion that you have to build. Yeah. You just understand that in due time, that will be accomplished if you set up the individual brick piece by piece. And people do not want to set up you know, the brick piece by piece. They, it's not flashy. It's not flashy. It's, it's uh, mundane. Yeah. It's repetitive. Um, but in the repetition, there is mastery, right? Mastery comes through repetition. So if you want to be a master builder, a master uh, uh, constructor of your life per se, mm -hmm. you need to be able to focus on the small consistent wins. That's kind of my, my entire perspective. So you know, a lot of you guys have big goals for 2023, but you need to be able to break them down into crystallized clarity in a small, small way. Yeah. So what does that look like from, uh, from day to day. Well, first of all, we talk about, you know, breaking day, your day down into day and night. So now you've divided your day in two, right? So you need to understand those periods, your evening time, and then your morning time or your day time, and how to navigate those patterns. Within those patterns, you wanna break them down to uh, six hour cycles, right? And now you have four six hour cycles, and it's within those six hour cycles that you operate. And now your goal is to fill up those six hour cycles in uh, with habits and patterns that will allow you to achieve your goal. Mm. And if you can do that, it's, uh, it's been working for me at least. And uh, I've seen some good results. So you don't become overwhelmed by the task at large or the task at hand. You just focus on what you need to do within that six hour sprint. And yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the, the name of the game. So don't be overwhelmed guys. Here's the thing, right? A lot of you motherfuckers get overwhelmed at at business, you get overwhelmed at sales, you get overwhelmed at uh, achieving something in your life. But I just want to be honest with you, like, none of it really matters because you don't have to take shit, right? None of none of the legacy that you build, none of the, you know, the homes you buy, none of the b businesses you build, like none of it matters, none of it actually lasts, right? Think about, I don't know, any emperor, any monarch in history, Name me five of them, right? Tell me the good things and the bad things that they did, right? And tell me, I don't know, some interesting facts about them, like when they died. Chances are you won't be able to, right? Regardless, these people built fucking palaces, conquered nations, were the richest people of all time, but unless I bring their name into your remembrance, you won't even fucking think about them, right? The whole point is you can live without pressure of performance because nothing really matters at the macro level when it comes to all this material shit that we're building. The material shit's cool, but it's, it's just a byproduct of who you're supposed to become, yeah. right? It's not this idea of placing your identity in the things that you achieve or in the things that you have because those things quickly disappear and you don't want your identity placed in things that are fleeting or things that, uh, fade, right? And that have no meaning and no lasting kind of long-term perspective. Um, make sure you're drinking your spring water. It's extremely important. Another good one actually is uh, organic green tea. It's another fire one. Give it show does. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, goal setting. Oops. Goal setting. It's extremely important. So as you go throughout your day, um, break down things into six hour uh, cycles, right? Your day cycle, your evening cycle, have cycles for exercise and for personal development, have, yeah. have uh, cycles for uh, intense work, have cycles for rest, have cycles for food, and start dividing into cycles. And you're gonna be in a good situation because you're not living a life that is dictated by somebody else's uh, schedule. And that's where it becomes extremely difficult is, you know, once, and, and, I, and I see it now, you know, as I, as I scale in my, in my career, more and more people want uh, your attention and your energy and your time and your resources. 
So you need to be able to hold these things extremely close to you and understand that your time is extremely valuable. And if you cherish your time, you need to be able to manage it, right? That which you cherish, you manage. Just like you manage your money because you cherish it, you should be managing your, your time in the same way you manage your money if you appreciate it. But the big paradox of life is that people put value on the things that are replaceable and they disdain and they often have, look upon with contempt the things that they cannot replace, right? They take those things for granted. You cannot replace your body, you cannot replace your health, you cannot replace your mind, you cannot replace your conscience, you cannot replace uh, your family, you cannot replace uh, certain relationships, you can't replace your Gucci belt, your money, your crypto wallet, you can replace your NFTs, your cars, uh, you know, your anything. All these things are replaceable. But you spend all your time pursuing these things that are replaceable instead of cherishing the things that are irreplaceable and building those things up. Focus on making the bread, focus on making the money, but always understand the big goal in mind. Uh, you come with nothing, you leave with nothing. And if you understand that, you live a life of tranquility and peace. But you can still be successful within this, right? And that is the beauty, is that you can still be rich and successful and not allow these things to control you. And that's the big message here, is becoming an alchemist of everything that's around you and being a person that isn't controlled, but a person that understands how to control the things and the elements that are around them, right? Because everything is energy. And if you understand how to channel energy and if you understand how to... Um, kind of shift it into it becoming whatever you want it to become, then you live a life that is not bound by other people's rules, but it's bound by your rules and your criteria. So, um, let's do some questions. Hope you guys uh, have found some sort of value in uh, talking about goals, you know? So don't be disheartened, it's not a big deal. Just make sure that tomorrow or today you continue doing what you're supposed to do. Don't look at tomorrow. You'll get anxious. You'll get depressed. And if you look at tomorrow, you're just going to be wondering and assuming. And oftentimes, you know, people make up scenarios and situations of horror of the future because of their worldview. So don't be living in the future. Live in the present. Live right now. Focus on what you have to do now with excellence. Lay that brick down with perfection. And the world is yours for the taking. Um, Luke, how long does it take to grow taller by stretching? We've been doing some stretching routines. I think you can do up to like two and a half, three inches and stretch out properly. Of course, you need to maintain it in order to, uh, in order to maintain the results. If not, you're going to get compressed again, right? Cause all you're doing is decompressing your spine. Um, but it's going super well. I think I'm, I've grown like an inch and a half, almost two inches. Yeah. Have you grown? For sure. I've grown a lot taller. Uh, let's see here. Can you pitch my apple? Avocado oil good, don't use it. Uh, or organic butter is more likely the the recommendation of choice. What are your thoughts on Bitcoin at the morning uh, at the moment? Let me look at a chart. Which is, it goes back to the what you were saying. Most people focus on securing a big bag, like a trade, right? Instead of daily. Being like, okay, I'm gonna spend X amount of time every day on the chart studying it. Correct. <laughs> Which is what and you if you sp it, yeah, and it's it's like people want one instant win instead of uh, small consistent wins, and it's in the small consistent wins that I found sustainable growth, and it's in these uh, sprints where you can get extremely cocky and lose yeah. it all. So, um. Let's see what else. Uh, all right, guys, ask some smart questions. Somebody said, uh, what organic tea brands? Oh, okay, so let's talk about teas. Tea is extremely important. Can you talk about, um, or I can just mention it. So when you get a tea bag, right, you gotta be extremely careful with tea bags. Because remember, most tea comes in little tea bags that are made of what? Plastic. So these little nets that are made out of microfibers. And when you put hot water in that, the microplastics seep into the water that you're drinking. So you're actually thinking that you're drinking a nice healthy tea when in fact you're just drinking plastic water. 
what you need to do instead is you need to get loose leaf, right? So you get loose leaf and then you buy, just get a straw and it has a filter at the bottom and it filters it for you. Just put some water, let it steep, and then you just enjoy it. So what do you have here? Um, the bottom is uh, lemon balm leaf, nettle leaf, and mate leaves. Then we have rosemary leaves, rose petals, hawthorn berries, uh, fresh ginger, and cinnamon sticks and cloves. Fire. Yeah, phenomenal, very yeah. smooth. That's really fire. Uh, and high levels of caffeine in it as well. So you can replace your coffee. You don't have to be drinking coffee every single day. Yeah. Also coffee will blow you. We've discussed that before. But going back to what you're saying with the teas, it's not only the issue that's covered in plastics, it's it's full of pesticides, mm. it's full of chemicals. Why? Because they're trying to make profit, right? They're trying to For keep sure. the lifespan of this bag. So you basically just, you might as well drink water. Hot mm. water with lemon, you'll get more benefits than Yeah, you could literally that. just get... You know I throw up now when, whenever... You I could literally just get mint leaves, yeah, honey, yeah. lemon, ginger, and hot water. And that'd be better. And you got a great concoction uh, for yourself as opposed to all this disgusting, um, these disgusting microplastics. But anyways, guys, uh, welcome to a lot of you guys. Uh, I'm not sure how you landed here. We've kind of uh, been on this grind. You're new here. We've been here for a while. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm Luke Belmar. Uh, I'm one of the Belmar brothers. And over the last couple of years, we've built successful businesses online, made millions of dollars in crypto, millions of dollars in e-commerce, now focused on health and wellness and the development of self, becoming digital stoics and empowering people to reach their fullest potential uh, through our companies. So yeah, uh, it's pretty sick. We're actually, I'm moving to Bali, moving to Bali. We got a spot in Bali, a fat house too. So I look forward to a uh, oceanfront mansion, one of the biggest houses in Bali. Stop flex. Um, nice oceanfront property, seven bedrooms, two houses, fucking fire. Um, so I'm gonna go spend a couple months there, maybe do an Asia tour. So we got some fans out in Asia. We'll do a, we'll do a get together. Maybe we can, maybe we can hit up a, Tokyo or one of these places do a meetup over there. That'd be pretty gas um, But yeah guys, that's kind of the name of the game if you are Interested in leveling up if you are interested in becoming the best version of yourself You need to understand that the system wants you alone. The system wants you solving things by yourself. The system wants you uh, uh, Disconnected they want you distracted they want you full of uh, estrogen and for the males and testosterone for the females and uh, so fluoride calcifying your pineal gland and you talk about the dentist that was hilarious yeah so it's really funny <laughs> so I go into the dentist well which part the Miami you're like talking about fluoride he's like not good for you like, oh yeah, yeah so so I so I went to the dentist and the dentist is like Luke uh, you you have a uh, Hi, you're a high risk patient for uh, cavities. I'm like, oh really? It's like, yeah. I'm like, damn, what's the solution? You need extra fluoridated toothpaste, brother. I'm like, motherfucker, I ain't doing that. You know that. He's like, yeah, I've been getting that a lot lately. And I was like, well, the revolution is underway. <laughs> you're gonna be getting a lot of that very soon. So no, no fluoride, ladies and gentlemen, no it's fluoride. extremely important for you to be in a, in a healthy state of mind. That's the first one. And then the second one is this. Air fresheners, motherfuckers. Air fresheners. Do you have one of these in your car right now? If you do, you need to get rid of them. And yeah, they're called air destroyers, not air fresheners. Your air becomes fresh when you don't have one of these in your car, right? So if you have an air freshener, make sure that you get rid of it right away. It's extremely important. Why? Because it's an endocrine disruptor. You have this thing that smells like black ice. What the fuck is black ice? It's clearly not organic. It's some petroleum chemical composition made in some lab in Vietnam that you're snorting all day. That you're snorting all day and they're making money on these 90 cents. So it just tells you how valuable this product is. So if you can't enjoy the fresh air, uh, you're gonna be in a situation where your hormones are absolutely fucked up. So, Air fresheners, put this shit away, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's a very, it's a, it's a very simple search away 
to find out that air fresheners are an endocrine disruptor, they fuck up your hormonal system, and your lymph nodes go absolutely crazy. So I collected these in Miami, and I was like, hey, we'll, uh, we'll start enlightening these uh, Uber drivers. <laughs> so I, was, I found that funny. But anyways, Hope this live was of uh, value to you guys. Just wanted to hop in here for about 20 minutes, give you guys some sauce. Uh, I'm probably not gonna keep this live up. I tend to not keep lives up uh, because I enjoy relationships with you guys on a, on a regular basis. But the revolution is underway. Uh, I'm glad you're here. And we'll see you guys soon. With that being said, have a wonderful day, be blessed, and don't be distracted. Don't be distracted by the bullshit. Peace.